My name is Jordan. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be documenting, saying the results, and just like telling the whole process of doing the Blogilates 28 Day Summer Sculpt Challenge. I'm very excited to share my whole experience, so let's get straight into the video. Day one of Blogilates 28 Day Summer Sculpt Challenge. I'm very excited. Cassie, if you're watching this, you're trying to kill me. I appreciate it. I don't know if anybody else who did that struggled that much, but it's 10.41 right now, and I should be in bed before school, but I'm gonna go get back in the shower because I sweated so much. That was literally so hard. I kind of wanted to cry many, many times, but I pushed through, and it feels really, really good, but I know I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. Yeah. Hello, it's day two now. I um, was actually not sore like at all today. I really, it just makes me wanna cry. Like I think I'm actually gonna cry. It's so hard. Don't judge me for crying, it's so hard. I'm not even doing anything correct because I physically cannot like without tumbling over because I'm that weak I finished day three it was the arms and back and I actually whoa, felt really good about it this has been my favorite so far um the hardest thing for me for this challenge so far is not having an abracot every day it's like hard for me to not go a day or more than one day without Day four was pretty good. I wish I focused more on abs though. This is the current state of my abs. Today is day seven. Look at those arms. It's Sunday. Now, I just came back from the gym a little while ago because I thought that today was just abs, not cardio. So this should be fun because I did 40 minutes of the elliptical and then I did like five minutes of weights just because I missed going to the gym. But wish me luck. Cassie, if you're watching this, I love you, but you're killing me. I should have recorded the stretching yesterday because I'm like the least flexible person ever. That was so hard. I don't think I've sweat that much in a while. I have been working out pretty much every day since January and this is where I currently am. So I'm honestly kind of sad if I'm being honest that this challenge does not have more abs because abs is like my die hard thing that I want a six pack because nobody believes me that I can get one. And it's something that I've worked on. It's like the main thing that I've worked on every day since January. This is what my stomach looks like. You can definitely, wow, this lighting works great for me. Kind of see like my ab outline a little bit. I have really small legs, so I don't have a lot of thigh muscle and I have no butt for my arms. So today is the second Thursday of the challenge. But I have actually felt really good about it this week. Like it was definitely a lot easier and I definitely feel like changes. Today is day 15 and then I'm about to do the full body one. And then afterwards me and my friend Lauren are going for a run. It's day like we're getting close to being done um it's stretching so I thought that I would film today's a little bit because I can't stretch so So the 
same day I just got out of the shower after finishing that stretch and I really like 20 days into the workout I feel really good like I th there was a couple days ago where I felt really bad about like my body but overall in like health standards and stuff like that I feel super healthy I feel super glowy just like she promised and yeah It's the last day of the 28 summer school program. I feel great. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little excited that to like get back into some other workouts since I've been doing these same seven repeatedly for a month, but let's document the last day. don't like to cuss on my channel but holy shit I don't know why but today definitely hit a little harder than the past Sunday I didn't do perfect on any of the moves but I think I definitely ended with a bang and I feel so accomplished I feel so good so I don't want to keep talking to you right now because I still have to do the cool down part but I will like recap this whole experience in either later tonight or tomorrow. So, it is now the end of the challenge and I want to tell you how I feel. During the challenge, especially towards the end, I kind of like low-key hated it because it was a big part of my day like 40 minutes is a long time and it's honestly kind of like a lot of work to convince yourself to go work out for 35 to 40 minutes but i'm really proud i missed one day but it was because i had like driver's ed and it was like the last day of school and i truly had like no time so i only missed one day but I did every other day and I honestly feel great I don't have much physical change but I feel a lot stronger and honestly I think Cassie was right and okay, I'm saying her name right because that'd be embarrassing but I definitely feel a lot glowier like my skin has cleared up and I just feel really good like that I did it and I feel accomplished and I really like this challenge so I totally recommend it like my arms definitely you can't see a ton of difference I feel a lot stronger my legs I had like no muscle in my legs and when I like flex my legs certain ways you can see so much muscle which is pretty good and my abs were already really strong so I don't think that I got much change from this but I definitely have like my lower abs have I definitely lost a little bit of fat there and my stomach is a little flatter so that's always good but yeah I just I really like this challenge and I'm so glad that I got to take part in it so thank you Cassie if you're watching this for creating a really good challenge that is super helpful and it was actually for the most part I struggled a little but for the most part really fun so yeah I think that's all that I have to say and I love you guys I'll see you in my next video bye my heart is set I love it. Yo.